right, that's a look out over the valley below. And uh, the mine is behind me. You can see an orb in there. And then this water here in front of me is actually coming out of the mine, believe it or not. Gives you a sense of how big it is. See some of the buildings there. And I got these uh, impressive peaks behind me. And they add it right there. See a big little pipe coming down from up there too. So there's the adit there, and there used to be rails that would come out and go to this building here. Which, as you can see, had pretty serious doors at one time. And there's a termination point there and there. Nothing else in here, so it's just been stripped. But there's a pretty serious block right there, and then more of them just over here. See, there's a bunch of foundation and stuff there, and then that ore bin is right there. And so obviously there's another set of tracks that ran out along there. I'm not sure what that structure would have been to there. So. I don't know, maybe this was a, you know, a maintenance shed or a place where they stored the, uh, the, uh, I don't know what they're called, like the little locomotives that would pull the uh, ore cars in and out, perhaps where they were stored. And then uh, we'll go check out these other buildings. So I camp there and uh, I'll show you guys inside these buildings real quickly because they're probably not going to be here too much longer. Could have been a bunkhouse or something. So that could have been offices, could have been bunkhouse. Not really sure. And then uh, this one over here. some equipment there I'm not even sure what that was but this looks like it was like a washroom or something because there's uh, looks like plumbing equipment and things like that here yeah you see the, the toilet yeah it remains of a toilet right here so I'd say so much while it Got some old trailers off in the distance over there. I don't think those are connected to the original mine. I think those are something that somebody dragged up here later. They seem more contemporary. Been there a while, but more contemporary than uh, the rest of this. And then lastly, this last building here is where they. Uh, a bunch of ore samples and such, which is pretty interesting actually. Fortunately, it's been just demolished, but on the floor here in front of me, you can see all these core samples they took out, and then. Um, over here, we've got these boxes of samples that were taken out. It's pretty interesting. Some of them are actually uh, still in decent shape. Interesting stuff. Alright, here's the uh, portal in front of me. And uh, well, uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's wet. I don't know if this is flooded by our standards, but... I've got the waders on just because it is kind of wet. Oh, 
It's nice to see all the, uh, the hard rock rather than dirt or anything like that. And uh, you can see this, uh, this goes as far as we can see. Supposedly the tunnel's 8,000 feet in. Right, we'll see about that. Okay, here's where the rail starts. You see the rail in front of here. More uh, of the stoked out area there. It's a pretty big area right here, actually, over my head. I just need that for as far as. Uh, and right there. All right, carrying on. We've got some interesting uh, geological creations here. You see the mix of colors and even uh, the stratification and the rock, which is interesting. And you can see. Uh, how squared off it is again there and then yeah just look at this mix of colors that's pretty wild see how yellow that is right there pretty wild more of the uh, the rainbow effect there and looks like there's some kind of a uh, bulkhead or something up here. Okay, we've got something going off to the right here. We've got something going straight. And, okay, well, this one's dead end, at least. All right, so coming out of here, I'll go back and check on this section to the left, or to the right on the way in. Pretty uh, large doped out area again. That's just a dead end down there. Got some rail here. And then, okay, that's just dead ends too. Stoked it out and then. Uh, Moved on. Wow, there's more up here. The, uh, the stopes in this mine are pretty, pretty huge for my uh, basis of comparison. I can see how the, uh, I don't know if that comes across on the camera, but the the pressure from the rock is bending that, that huge beam. That's impressive. The rail again. And those are some pretty big boulders that have come down. Yeah, just more uh, 
scoped out stuff, nothing much here. So we shall continue along the main tunnel. So Frank went ahead of me on the uh, main tunnel here, so we'll catch up to him. I noticed that these uh, timbers here are under a severe amount of pressure. This water really degrades the wood rapidly. That's why the mines in our normal area of exploration very rarely look this good. A uh, stoked out area. I didn't go down there. It looks like a dead end. I'll just take a peek real quick. <laughs> yeah. Looks like it's a bunch of wet timbers there. A lot of timbers in Yeah, there's um. There's that rocks. There, uh, timbers mostly. There's a big stoked out area here where they <laughs> they came crashing down from. It uh. I got a tickle in my throat. I don't know why. It's making me cough. It's not dusty in here. No, it's not. I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe the mildew or something? Yeah, that just dead ends right there. Yeah. So, back down the main tunnel. <laughs> 